Hello, first graders. Today, I'm going to be teaching you about comparison bars. For those of you who don't remember, that's okay. I'm going to be doing four problems with you today, and those are the four problems that will be um, your assignment uh, today for math. Um, whenever I think of comparison bars, it kind of reminds me of math mountains. So this is what a comparison bar looks like. One long rectangle. It kind of looks like a shorter rectangle and then a circle. It reminds me of a math mountain. If I have the um, question, Alice has five pens. Um, Eduardo has two pens. How many pens do I have in all? Well, five plus two equals seven. So that's what a math mountain is. My, I, I know Mrs. Cheslock and Mr. Bell's class remembers that. Well, now what we're gonna do today is we're gonna be using this type of um, math, math style, I guess. <laughs> and um, this is something that, that we've practiced, but it's always good to make sure that we have this mastered um, because now we're gonna be talking about more and talking about fewer. Um, when you use a comparison bar, this circle is where you put things when they say more or when they say fewer. So if you ever see something in a story problem that says five more or six fewer, that is where you're going to put that number. Because whenever you see more or you see fewer, you're going to put the, that number that's next to it right there. And if there isn't a number there, it's going to be a mystery number, right? Now, whenever you see this bigger rectangle, this is usually, it's not always the answer that we're going to write. Sometimes it's in the story problem. It's usually that bigger number. And then this smaller rectangle is where the other um, add-in or um, add-in goes, right? Okay, so I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller. And I'm going to make my comparison bars a little bit bigger so we can see them. All right. And let's get started. If you have your math book, and it's okay if you don't, all you have to do is take a separate sheet of paper and rewrite your comparison bars. Mrs. Cheslock and I said that is completely fine. But if you do have your math book, you can go to page 184 and you can do that, um, do this page in there but it's okay if you don't have your math book. All right, so as I said, a comparison bar, ha comparison bars has one long rectangle and a little line here so you can put um, the name of the child in the story problem, a smaller rectangle and a circle. All right, see that? And then we're gonna put another line down here for the other child's name because there are two children in the story. All right, so I'm just gonna show you that. And then if you wanna redraw that, you can definitely do that. All right, I'm gonna make myself a little bit bigger actually so you can see a little bit better. All right, perfect. All right, so. All right, so we're gonna read question five. Dan reads nine books. Anna reads 11 books. How many fewer books does, does Dan read than Anna? Well, I see some important numbers and words here. I see the number nine, I see the number 11, and I see the word fewer, right? So those are important key numbers and words that your kiddos should be circling. So ask your kids, which, which number is bigger? Who has, who read more books, Anna or Dan? Anna, right? So which, so where is the bigger number going to go? It's going to go on the 11 or on the top. Um, that is where the 11 is going to go on the big rectangle. And what does Anna's name start with? An A. So you're going to put A for Anna. Now, how many books did Dan read? Dan read nine. I'm going to put a D for Dan because he read nine books. Now, does it say a number next to how many fewer books? No, so this is our mystery number. Well, all it is, it's just like um, when we have a mystery number equations or a mystery number math mountain. So nine plus what number equals 11? How many fewer books did Anna read? Well, you can work backwards. You can say 11, 
take away nine equals a number, or you could say nine plus what number equals 11. So what I'm saying is you could either do this, a subtraction equation to find the difference, or, or a mystery number in an addition sentence. This is, called, this is actually similar to fact families because we're still using the same three numbers. So, hmm, I guess I'm gonna count backwards, 11 take away nine, because I know we've been working on counting backwards. So we could say 11, 11, 11, take away nine, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So we took away nine and that equals two. So nine plus two equals 11. So how many fewer books did Dan read than Anna? The answer is two. So you would write two what though? Two hats? Two baseballs? What are we talking about? Two B-O-O-K-S. Don't forget about your unit. Two books, right? All right. Let's go to question six. Just erasing. All right, we got our comparison bars. Make our little line here. All right, question six says, Lewis makes seven eggs for breakfast. Emily makes three eggs. How many more eggs does Lewis make than Emily? All right, so important words, important numbers. What do you see? I see a seven, I see a three, and also I see the word more. So, who made more eggs, Lewis or Emily? Lewis did, right? So you're gonna put an L for Lewis up on the top comparison bar and how many eggs did he make? Seven. And then Emily made three eggs. So an E for Emily and then a three in the smaller rectangle. Because remember, this is where your numbers for more or fewer go. More, fewer, see that? I wrote it there, I know it's not super big, so I'll zoom in a little bit, more or fewer. Does it have any, or is there a number next to the word more? No, so it's our mystery number. So you could do three plus what number equals seven, or you could do seven take away three equals what? equals what difference, right? Because that's the answer to a subtraction equation. So we did this one first lat, for question five. Let's try to do our mystery number. So what are you gonna say in your brain? Three, 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 count on until seven. Four, five, six, seven. So how many more eggs did Lewis make than Emily? Four. So four is our answer, and then these would be four because it's our fact families, right? Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. What are we talking about? What unit are we talking about? Ponytails? Are we talking about car keys? We're talking about, oh, uh, where can I write it? Eggs, E-G-G-S, eggs. I know that's not perfect right there, but E-G-G-S, eggs. All right, let's go to question seven. We got two more. I'm sure you guys are doing great. All right, got my comparison bars, they're ready. All right, let's read our story problem. Noah has 10 more caps than Ben. Ben has 10 caps. How many caps does Noah have? Well, this is kind of switching up what we've learned so far. So, no, well, let's first talk about our important words and numbers. I see 10 and then next to it, I see the word more. <gasps> we talked about that. 
We're going to talk about that in a second, though, more <laughs> using the word more. And then Ben has 10 caps. So we're going to circle those two number 10s and we're going to circle that word more. So what are we going to where are we going to put these numbers? Well, it says 10 more caps. Well, remember, this is where words with numbers with more or fewer go. So we actually know what number goes there. Do we know what number it is? What do you see in our story problem? 10, right? And then um, and then what other number do you see? Let's read this, let's read it over again. So Noah has 10 more caps than Ben. So Noah has more caps than Ben. More. So Noah's gonna be up here and Ben's gonna be down here. Because Ben doesn't have as many. And then Ben has 10 caps. So we're gonna write a 10 here because this is how many caps he has. So it's an addition equation. There's no mystery number here. What is the answer to this doubles fact? 10 plus 10. What is it? 20, right? So Noah has 20 caps while Ben only has 10. So 20 C A P S caps, right? All right, our last equation. All right, let's go ahead and read question eight. Jen eats two fewer carrots than Scott. Scott eats nine carrots. How many carrots does Jen eat? Well, I see something. I see important words and I see important numbers. So um, you're gonna circle two and then next to two, I see the word fewer. So you're gonna circle two fewer and I see the number nine, right? So um, Jean eats two fewer carrots than Scott Scott eats nine carrots. So Scott eats a lot more carrots than Jen. So Scott's gonna be up on top and Jen will be on the bottom. How many carrots does Scott eat? Scott eats nine. So you're gonna put a nine up here. And then Jen eats two fewer carrots than Scott. So remember what goes here? Words that have more or numbers that have more or fewer next to it, right? So what number is next to more or fewer? What, what do you see? I see the word fewer and I see a number two. So we have our mystery number here. And then plus two equals nine. Right, because we have our mystery number plus two more equals nine. We could also do a subtraction equation. Nine take away two equals something. So you can do whichever one works best for you. It's okay if you don't wanna do the same one I did because as long as you get the same answer, that's awesome. So, um, hmm, I guess I'll do our mystery number. I love mystery numbers. So what are you gonna say in your brain? Say you're adding. Two, 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 count on until nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what answer is it? Seven. So seven plus two equals nine, or nine take away two equals seven. So what is our unit? We're talking about carrots. So seven carrots. All right, hopefully um, it's all coming back to you and you remember how to do comparison bars. Um, I hope uh, when I explained it, it was all good and I hope you enjoy your math. Bye guys.